Hello everyone and happy when you're watching this, I think Friday. <laughs> so happy Friday when you're watching this. It is currently Wednesday when I'm recording this. I have a kind of busy day. I, t I told you I'm really, I tr it's, it's ironic because sometimes I'm like, oh, I shouldn't vlog on like really, really busy work days. But I feel like those days are sometimes one of some of the funnest for you guys to see. You kind of get to see what I'm doing behind the scenes. So right now what I'm doing is I'm about to make some lift your frequency orders. Our angelic guidance necklace has been a bestseller. So a lot of you guys have been ordering it. In fact, we had to literally get more of the uh, really beautiful freshwater pearl. Like I had to get a ton, ton of them because we didn't have any in stock because of how but we couldn't like keep them, couldn't keep it on the shelves, but literally I had to get all a bunch of new freshwater pearl strands. Um, the, spe the specific kind has a specific shape. I'm not going to say it because I'm going to gatekeep it. But there's a specific shape that gives it this really the really cool effect that you see in that angelic items necklace. Um, so right now I'm printing some labels. I'm going to make all those orders to go ship off today. As always, like your order, essentially if we have the supplies in stock, right, depending on inventory, then, you know, I make your order usually within a few days, like honestly, usually same week. The only time that your order will take longer is if we're like sold out of that crystal or stone and I have to get it from my amazing supplier. They're really great and they're really quick, but I still have to, you know, get get it from my supplier essentially and then make it. So if you feel like your order's ever taking, and I say on the website I can take up to a week, but just so you know that that's usually the case for what's going on. Um, I've had to do a lot of other back-end stuff, email campaigns, all that good stuff. The doors to Divinity opened um, today, which is really exciting. It was really cool. I was listening to a podcast the other day and just studied happiness and fulfillment. Essentially, happiness, but I like to use the word fulfillment because I think people like think of happiness as fleeting, but just fulfillment of people's lives. And they studied them, I believe, from like high school age, from like 17 or something, to, to for 40 years. Essentially, I studied them from like when they were young to older. I don't remember the exact dates. And, um, and the number one thing that they found like in common that created fulfillment was warm connections and the quality of connection in people's lives. And I just made a post about this on Instagram, but although I think I love the rise of social media i think that like we can learn so much so quickly the fact that like you can wake up on your morning walk and listen to a podcast or listen to this vlog or listen to my podcast <laughs> and you know we can just share thoughts and ideas i could have an idea today and i could record it and tomorrow you could hear the idea and the idea could be like exactly what you need to hear or for me like the coolest work the coolest part is like i lead so many different courses right and so like being able to like it's, it's all through online being able to really connect with people and you know i'm really so close with my clients and to grow those connections and share valuable information i think is so life-changing but i think it's because it's important to use social media and the rise of the internet in the correct uh way and in a way that serves you know serves you essentially and in 2020 is when i created divinity if you don't know what divinity is it's my monthly membership um i've had it's been around now since 2020 established 2020 and i made it because i wanted a space to share all the magic i was doing aka different meditations visualizations rituals and other little magical things that i've been doing for years honestly i'm not gonna lie when i was younger i'd gatekeep them i don't know why i felt like i'd found I, ever since I was little, I had like a lot of magical abilities. I was like, had a lot of clairvoyant, various, not clairvoyance, but, but like very psychic abilities that later developed. And I was always guided, like I just knew what to do. I knew, like I would get channeled visions of rituals or like visions of what I need to do. Like very specific, like almost as if I read a book on like magic. And, and this may sound woo to certain people, which is fine, but it's almost like I read a book and it like I got the information. People be like, How do you know the specifics of this? And I'm like, I literally just would channel it. And so then finally, 2020, I was like, I want to start sharing this and like seeing other people being able to like have unbelievable experiences. And just if you ever want to look at like testimonials, you can go to my Instagram and on the, one of the highlights I have Divinity. There's literally so many testimonials that I can't even add more to the highlight because it's so packed. I'd have to start a second one. People have had life-changing experiences with manifesting like anything you could probably imagine. Um, now it's been around and we're going into our third year and doors open at the beginning of that and every month. You can join at any time of the month, but I recommend you join the beginning because then you can come to the live events. Do you know what I mean? So for example, today is February 1st and I'm recording this and this month we have two events. We have the Unblock Yourself, which is really a hit already. A lot of people are signing up already. The Unblock Yourself Obstacle Remover Ceremony and Ritual, which is on Thursday, January 9th. And then we're going to have the New Moon in Pisces 
Casey ceremony ritual on the 19th. So if you join today, you'll be able to attend both of those live. And if you can't attend live, you get the replays and even if you can't attend live you get the replays and also i cut the we, we do a meditation i channel a meditation inside i cut the meditation so you get to keep the meditations from those and you can read more about it but essentially inside there's a ritual we speak about the energetic uh, energetics of that time there's a guided uh channel meditation with some sound bowl sound bath sound healing some gentle hypnosis and now i incorporate gentle energy healing inside as well so it's very 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 sacred um, and yeah, doors are open and I feel like Divinity for me is such a powerful example of like using social media or the internet in, ter for, in terms to really manifest because energy is so strong so when everyone gathers there live or even if you're watching the recording, you tap into like this super strong energy of all these people there intentionally and that's what gives that effect, you know? It's your power of course but all of us gathering together and like it's just multiplying the energy, that's why People who practice like dark magic, like Super Bowl, things like that, same thing, they're harnessing energy, but they're using it in a dark way for their intentions versus we gather with like white light, <laughs> positive, pure intentions to just assist everyone's kind of goals and what they're visualizing and creating. So yeah, it just made me kind of think about like using internet powerfully and like, yeah, like I used to listen to podcasts or audiobooks and yeah, everyone mindlessly scrolls and stuff here and there, but yeah, just a little kind of food for thought. So right now I'm going to make these angelic guidance necklaces they're so beautiful i'm so excited i believe they're all 18 inch yeah um and then we're gonna get those ready to ship and then i actually am going to write the description for the magic manifestation candle so when you're watching this the pre-order is opening i'm also i know right now i'm talking about a lot of work stuff and i'm actually really mindful like i always want to have a balance in my vlogs of like sharing life and like sharing about my work because I understand that like not everyone wants to hear about all the that kind of stuff that's going on but a lot of people do so I'm trying I was trying to balance it this is an important announcement the magic manifestation candles the new moon and Aquarius drop sold out and so the next drop of course is going to be on the full moon in Leo which is on February 5th but I'm opening a pre-order this time because it's going to help me gauge how many candles to make I'm, I'm thinking of making a tiny bit more so we'll see and if you want to make sure you get a candle then definitely place your order during the pre-order so pre-order when you're watching it's probably already open it's going to open february 3rd at 11 a.m pacific so this is going to be a really powerful candle it's going to be this full moon and leo candle so it's like breaking three breaking through from limiting beliefs embodying your heart kind of melting any kind of walls that you may have in your heart, right? Leo rules the heart. It's really opening to that like sacral, not sacral, sorry, solar plexus chakra, to your willpower, to your willingness to show up, to your self-esteem, to like really taking courageous steps and leaps in your world and also allowing yourself to kind of push through barriers, like letting yourself show up so embodied in love and in your heart and encourage that all the barriers around you kind of fall away and that willpower and that light from solar plexus light the way lights the way that's the energy of this candle i'm really excited um inside they're actually gonna have stones they're gonna have one there's two different stones that i'm gonna charge them with so you'll have one or one or the other inside so you'll have to see the description to see what the stones are but you'll have a crystal inside your candle as well to really amplify it this time and yes yeah, so definitely grab one of those all right i'm gonna start keep doing some more work making orders and then we will chat later beautiful these are the angelic guidance necklaces so they're clear quartz every clear quartz is different double pointed freshwater pearl and then by the clasp they have more clear quartz for amplification so it's such a beautiful feminine angelic piece and then it has clear quartz to really bring in that white light also for you to custom your own program and um, your own intention and program it into it it's going to amplify the energy here kind of around the back of the neck kind of by the throat chakra and then here where this falls kind of around the heart chakra so it's a really beautiful piece i'm going to package these two up Hello my beautiful people, it's still the same vlogs, I'm going to combine vlogs, but it's the next day because like I was saying on my work days, I think it's actually kind of a really important thing to discuss. I think that I always talk about masculine and feminine energy, right? And it's really important that we have what we perceive as a balance in our lives. Now, a balance looks very different for everyone because everyone's more naturally inclined in a particular direction. So what I mean by that is I work with a lot of clients and we work on balancing these energetics in that individual's life. Some people are way more naturally feminine inclined and you can see this in their birth chart. They have more um, feminine indications, right? 
So actually we did this calculation with all of my amazing women who were at my Sedona retreat last year. It's something I do, and I'm gonna to continue to do inside my one-to-one -one sessions. We look at whether you're primarily masculine or feminine dominant, and like I could like not know the person at all. I could be a brand new client, I know nothing about them. Just by looking at their chart, I could tell you, tell you those things. Then we look at how we balance those energies, right? So someone who's a lot more feminine, so it's a lot more flowy, they a lot more all over the place, a little more chaotic. It's beautiful, but we're gonna work more on structure and really creating like a routine and boundaries and containers in that person's life right rituals consistency like gentle like self discipline through like self-love as discipline right things like that and then someone else let's say who's more masculine primarily like for me I think my chart says I'm balanced but I would say like I'm more masculine like my energy is more masculine like it's I'm more rigid than like flowy I don't I don't like the word rigid but I'm more like organized like like systems, routine, my, my moon's in Capricorn, my Mars is in Virgo, my Mercury's in Taurus, this bitch is earthy, you know? So for me, I work more on like involving the feminine, that's why so much of my work has been around feminine energy, that's why my newest course that I just launched, which is an amazing course, and I purpose made it, it's a month long, it's at an amazing lower price point as well, because I wanted more people to be able to take it, and we did a payment plan, everything. So for me, a big, a lot of my work has been because I am more go, 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 achievement oriented, all that stuff. And not out of like a bad place, just like out of like, I feel like probably just out of childhood conditioning in a way, but not in a bad way. Because when I was young, I was a really high achiever in school. I was like in all, like almost all, like tons of AP classes. I was getting like best grades. I was like, you know, top of my class. Do, like I was just like high SAT scores. I was like an SAT tutoring and ACT tutoring like years before the test. My parents are Russian, okay? So like this is just how it is. So I feel like I learned like I just that kind of was ingrained to in me and although I, I think so many people are really quick to say like Oh my gosh, childhood trauma and I of course people have childhood trauma, of course. But I think that sometimes certain things we go through and they really help us later in life. So although I could be like, oh my gosh, I was like such a perfectionist as a child, I had so much pressure on me that also later really allowed me to become as successful as I am because I did work hard and was self-disciplined and continued to I don't say push myself but invite myself into further further growth now did it have things to heal yes like that's why it inspires so much of my feminine work that's why I Last year I launched the course, um, The Feminine Awaken, like just awakening, just beginning to crack open to like what the fuck is feminine energy? What does that feel like? Like what does that divine presence feel like, right? And anyway, and that's, and that's why that's been so much of my work and I feel like that's so much of my work is for other women who also now want to get in touch with their feminine energy and live a more nourished, soft life and don't want to live a life where their cortisol is spiking. Cortisol, people talk about hormone disbalance so much, right? It's a big hot topic now. Although, by the way, guys, I did the heatless curls. You know, it's really trendy online. And I did it, I wanted to do it before I did a tutorial. I got it the first night and I like already recorded it. And I didn't put up that vlog because I was like, I don't want to put it up until like I have it where I like, I like I figure out how to do it. And I've done it twice and now I like figured out the hacks of how to get the curls to look good, not be like super tight. And, like, I'm just like, I, I feel like I figured it out. So I'm gonna, I'll do like in my next vlog, a tutorial on how to do it. This kind of hair will have to be when I wash my hair next. I feel like it works best when you wash your hair, dry it. So it's like dry, maybe a tiny, 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 tiny bit damp, but, but essentially pretty dry. So when I'll wash my hair next Sunday, so I'll vlog that. And Sunday's a farmer's market vlog too. So you have good shit coming your way. But anyway, back to the topic. Um, so like I feel like we have to find balance in those days. So that's why for me when I'm on a when I'm focused in my work, so like yesterday I was like in a very masculine kind of energy because I was masculine just means you have an action and you're like directly taking action consistently towards it. I wasn't just like flowy, right? So that's why it's sometimes hard for me to vlog on those days because vlogging innately is very flowy. I'm chatting, I'm sharing, I'm in the flow, right? I'm not vlogging to just deliver a message, right? I'm not coming on my vlog and I'm like, I'm going to just deliver this message. I come on and I flow. And I feel like that's why maybe you guys enjoy them because my vlogs are very much, that's my intention behind them, is just to show up how I show up with a friend, create this space, and then just see what comes up and just like flow. I think that that's the beauty. That's what I appreciate others when they just like share. I think that's why a lot of people like podcasts 
especially specific kinds where you can tell they're not like premeditated that's just like an organic conversation because like nowadays so much stuff is pre-planned like you see so many stupid shit like so much stupid shit online like so much premeditated like i'm obviously not not all premeditation is bad like sometimes things need intentionality but there's so much really overly curated content that, which is beautiful in its own way but i think people really appreciate just like raw real content so what I mean by that is like yesterday my day was very masculine focused in the evening I balanced it out because I taught which still is like you know it's work for me but still like I love it I taught my online poll class which by the way we're having new people come consistently all the time so if you've been thinking about it if like you've been watching poll videos and you've been wanting to do it and you think oh my gosh I don't know where to start I don't know how to do it like I feel like this is so common just do it like I know it's like it's the easiest slash most cliche advice but I promise you just do it like i know that the poll is an investment right so like that's like i, I can tell that that's why it deters people up front but i promise you if you use it a lot and the poll like the x poll is really great quality i'm not sponsored like literally i got you know i bought my own actually my husband bought, bought me the poll as a gift um but so i i have like such like a strong integrity system where like i literally can't lie like even if i do, if i don't know a detail or something like if i'm if i was like oh it happened last week but i don't know if it was exactly last week i have to say like oh in the near future i'm keeping that throw shocker clear because then i was like oh i bought my poll myself well technically it's a lie my husband bought the poll anyway because i wanted to pull for home because i was just like because i wanted to teach classes and practice more so anyway he got it for me as a gift legend legendary supportive thriving we love it he tries to go on it and it's like really hard he probably will never admit to his friends he tries to go on, but it's 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 very challenging but essentially i understand that that's like an upfront cost but if you have it's a great quality x poll is a great quality if you have it it's like the golden standard there's also loop it poll l-u-p-i-t it's a little bit more expensive i've heard that one's great i've never danced on one or touched one so i like can't give you my personal feedback but in the poll community it's also a very well respected brand i believe it's like it's a brand overseas i don't know if it's like what so I feel like it's an Eastern European like base brand again so those are just some options but if you have it for a year like let's say you have it for five years and you know you use it your cost per use is going to be so worth it I think like so many things uh, an upfront cost deters people but like the benefit that you could get from it will be so crazy it's like a lot of things it's like investing in a coach or a mentor or a course it's okay this car but you better be trying to come back in here because you just ch changed lanes um it's like the upfront cost it deters people which I understand like I I totally get it but the benefit that you're gonna get, you really have to think about what's the value I'm gonna get. Something could be really cheap, but you don't get much value from it. Or something could be, yeah, very, an investment, but the value you get is so immense that it's like, you know? So I, I just wanna speak about that about poll, but if you've been wanting to learn, just do it, right? And this is why I teach personally online poll class and why I'm passionate about it, because I get it. Like going to a studio, half butt naked, and eight inch heels, and like, it's also a workout pretty much right and then attempting to do stuff is very vulnerable it's vulnerable a like body image right like being nude in front of like randoms at first they're randoms and they'll become your friends hopefully um and then like learning something new that's uncomfortable for most people like and then not only learning something new but like in front of people and then having that dynamic of learning something new in front of people and maybe not even getting it as quickly as other people do that i think is like really an element for other people so that's why i love teaching these melt online pole classes because they're low flow focused so they're not like crazy aerial flips and tricks it's beautiful buttery movements in and around the pole and no matter what like level you're at you need that that's why certain people you watch them and they're not the best dancers like they might have like tricks and they might be strong but they're not the best dancers because they don't have that glue like they look abrupt right so i think that that's why it's all levels whether you're like it's your first time touching a pole or whether you've been dancing for years it's something that i find so 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 powerful Powerful. So anyway, my day was like masculine all day, then feminine in the evening. Today I have like the reverse kind of day. I like set up a feminine morning because the past few days I've been really focused on work. I was making orders. I like me and my husband drove like in the evening to go drop off your orders um, tomorrow. So when you're watching this, me doing a mental calculation, the candle will be actually out um, tomorrow, Friday. So it's February 3rd, the pre-order for the Full Moon in Leo. Such a juicy, powerful breakthrough, break down the walls energy is, is going to be live. Um, so it's really exciting. Last night I was shipping a bunch of orders. Our angelic guidance necklace, like I said, is like super popular, blowing up right now. So I'm consistently making those and shipping those out and just doing a lot of back end stuff that you, know, you don't really see. Um, and so today I've scheduled a feminine front first half of the day, more masculine second half of the day, which usually is not how I do it. I actually do the opposite usually. Usually I do all my like very focused computer work, like 
stuff that, like really action mental oriented stuff earlier and then I kind of let myself play but today I'm going to get my massage I haven't gotten massage in like a little bit over two weeks for me like I don't I think if you're not working out all the time or doing intense workouts a massage is like more of a luxury but I think that if you're doing intense workout like I do pole which is intense on your body like my body needs my body gets so tight it's really wild and so I'm really really excited I have a little ritual now where after I'll go to Goop Kitchen and get myself like a lunch and it's like a late lunch and I actually wanted to speak about this as well I think it's really important to do have like little rituals for yourself now does it need to be as like I'm not saying like oh everyone should just go get a massage and then like go get themselves lunch like that's just like like I'm not tone deaf like I understand that that's not like that's you know that's an investment time money energy so i understand that's not that's not gonna look like that for everyone and i by no means think i'm saying that's the only way but just little ritual so for me a little ritual used to be actually so funny when i lived in beverly hills every morning like in 2020 i'd like not every morning but whenever i started this ritual i would like wake up you know do my meditation journaling well i think journaling meditation i'd palo santo and then i'd journal meditate and then i would go park kind of like near where the blue bottle over there is if you live in LA area you know it's like by Beverly and I would like walk on purpose park far so I would walk not far but like I don't know half a mile I don't know like a few blocks down I'd find parking in the streets in the streets no but like you know a few streets over and I'd walk with Mia and I'd get my blue bottle coffee and I loved all the work people who work there so shout out to any of you guys if you watch this by any chance like there was the most amazing people there when I got engaged they wrote like congratulations on my cup with a little heart like they like I don't know they were the, the best so if you still work there you used to work there at the Blue Bottle Beverly Beverly Hills I fucking love you and I'd, and I'd, as I'd walk back I would like you know think about what I'm how I want my day to go I would like maybe do a little visualization like just think about like what I was working on that day what I wanted to call into my life that day and it was this little ritual and, and like for me I know some people like no it's so funny I think we all need different things at different times for example now I'm like I, I would rather make coffee at home in my espresso machine <laughs> But like at that time that was worth the investment for me. So people would be like, oh getting coffee every day, like wow. But it's like at that point the it wasn't about the coffee, it was about the experience and the joy that that experience brought into my day made me the money back times how I don't even know however much, right? Like it's all about finding what's worth your investment at different times. Now I can make my own espresso and walk around and like I get the same joy and I'd rather maybe get like a massage that month for that, you know? But at that time, like that was bringing me so much nourishment. That was a little ritual. And so just finding little rituals that may bring joy to your life is so important because those rituals are a blend of like, I feel like masculine and feminine energy because they have some structure to them, but they have flow. So the structure is like I park, I show up, but then the flow is like I walk and I think and I see people. And it's also just really nice to socialize every day early in the morning and, and like people are really, are really friendly. I don't know if everyone has different conceptions about LA, but like people are really friendly I don't know it was my experience whatever halo effect whatever people want to say I had a great time on my walks got compliments vibe with people chat with people it was great also I think you have to be open to it as well um and, and I actually would be like I actually put on like a little bit of makeup in the morning so I'd feel more put together when I'd go out because it was a pretty like it area to like go out in so I wasn't didn't want to look you know unpresentable now when I walk around I like, don't have any makeup on, I don't like, maybe I should do that more, but it's more about like walking me and stuff. But essentially that was like a really, really powerful r r ritual and routine, like socialization plus like coffee. It was like it, it connection. I think I, I wrote a post about this, right? How social connection is one of the most biggest indicators of health. Yes, working out. Yes, eating well, sleep. But the quality of your connection is such a huge indicator of your happiness. I'll link to podcast episodes that talk about this down below. Not mine. They're from this uh, guy, Heal Thyself. He's great. Um, I really recommend you listen. But essentially like that was like really stimulating that. Like I'd walk, I'd feel connected to everyone in the area. I'd go to the same coffee shop they all knew me connection like they'd write my name like really cute with like sparkles and hearts like it was like such so much connection and it really made me feel like seen and valued and so yeah create little rituals for me you know I like to go get a massage because for my body it really really needs it when I was doing like just yoga and Pilates did I need a massage every like two weeks or so honestly like no like my it was I could get one it'd feel nice but now that I do such intense workouts like if you watch my pole videos and you're like wow that looks so smooth like it requires so much strength and it's a lot on the body I think the pole dancers don't talk about this it's a lot on the body um tomorrow I'm gonna go into the studio so I'll hopefully like vlog a bit again I can't vlog a lot because we play music the whole time we're in there obviously for the vibes but I can't put that up because of copyright infringement right so I have to be pretty careful 
but yeah, I'm going to go do that. So I will bring you inside. And I just hope that you, you watching this, think of a ritual that you can do. I don't know whether it's daily, weekly, monthly, every two weeks, whatever it is to cultivate like that just like something something that's like a be that brings you joy right and also think about connection and really think about the quality of connection and i think that's why like we love like connect people online like i feel a connection with all of you i read your comments like i see your names sometimes i don't respond to everything right because sometimes i'm like i'm like okay i have 30 minutes and i'm like either I could edit a vlog or respond to comments so my mind is like it makes more sense for me to edit another vlog but i like read all your comments usually right the first few days Obviously, I'm not going back to my videos from three months ago reading the comments. I mean, maybe like in a blue moon, but you know what I mean? And so, yeah, I just think social connection is important, but in your own life as well. And to make an effort, I think when we grow up, especially if you're like married and stuff or in a relationship, you just like, st like you don't always prioritize social connection because you feel like, oh, well, I see my partner every day. But for me, a big focus this year is really connecting with my friends. Like I have one friend who lives in San Diego. She's moving back closer into LA. So like I made, we made plans to see each other. We had like a monthly meeting. And um, then my other, like one of my other friends who lives in OC, I'm like, oh my gosh, we should get dinner. Like making a conscious effort. Sometimes we think like, oh, someone, someone invites me. I'm one of those people. If someone invites me, then like, yeah, I'll go. But like, I'm not usually the one to like initiate all the time. So I'm just starting to be a little bit more of an initiator. Like even if I get a lot of my work done today, then tomorrow I can even invite one of my pole friends to get coffee before our session, get us hyped up. Um, it depends if like, again, I finish my work tonight because if not, I'll have to do that before. Again, all back end work that I do, which I like kind of enjoy because it's pretty therapeutic, but I have to be in the mood for it. Like if I'm not in the mood to do it, it All right, so we are arriving at the massage place. Also, I recommend trying to find like a person who you really like because that way you like know that every time you're gonna go, you're gonna get like that person's massage. Cause I think something that puts some people up, that's such a good spot, but I'm not in the angle to get in, is like they, they don't always get a good one. Cause like once I didn't go to my woman cause she was booked and I went to another woman and I honestly was irritated. I know this is like, this is so first world like, annoying girl problems i totally get it but like i was so excited for my massage you know i carve out a lot like time in my day to do it <laughs> like it's a it's a whole thing for me right like i plan around it and then these are like yellow does that mean something okay so let's park here then and then it wasn't good and i was like oh i was like this bitch and i've seen her before and she's like i feel like she's never booked because then people know she's not good no offense to her, I'm sure she's a lovely woman. All right, so, look, is there anything fun I can show you? <laughs> I can show you two lip products. Um, this is a real lip product I wear all the time. Airy Perez Clean Brand Grace. It's like a lip pencil. Think about, think of a long-lasting, thick lip, like, lip liner that's like thick that can also be like a lipstick beautiful color grace i'll link it down below this i haven't worn in a while so i don't want to lie right now i'm wearing this really okay i have a whole story about the this is like a medical grade gloss i'm wearing it has a story so i have to save it for another day but i like this i haven't worn it in a while so i don't want to lie like i ha honestly haven't worn it that recently but it's the costas lip fuel and pulse it has a really nice color to it it's like pretty strong see Pretty strong. Okay, I'm a little bit early for my massage, so maybe I can post some stuff on my story before I go in. All right, let's do it. <laughs> 